Hi everybody. The purpose of this video is to show you how to upgrade the firmware on the Storm and Storm X controllers. First, you're going to need to pick up one of these, which is an FTDI controller, which allows you to connect a USB cable with the Storm or Storm X. You're also going to need a small strip of right angle pin header, as you see here. And this pin header simply fits where the FTDI connection goes on the Storm. And once that's in, you're going to need to solder it from the back side, right here, these six pins here. And once that's in, and you have your FTDI cable, you can simply hook it up to a USB, now it's powered up, and then connect it to the Storm or Storm X controller. And just make sure when you connect it that the power cable is actually unplugged. You can see on this board it wasn't plugged in prior. Uh, that way you reduce electrical interference issues. What you're going to want to do is head over to corelux.com and scroll to the product that you need. Uh, you need either the Storm X or Storm LED controller firmware. Uh, what we're going to do is upgrade the Storm X, so we'll go ahead and click there. And we'll scroll down to the place where the firm firmware is hosted, right here, and we'll download the firmware. Now, once the firmware is downloaded, you want to make sure to follow the instructions uh, contained in the README file, which is basically to put the proper files in the proper places. And once that's done, you can go ahead and load up your Arduino firmware, uh, provided that you download the Arduino software from arduino.cc. And you're going to pull up the code. And that code is just a bunch of stuff. You can modify it if you want, but if you're not interested and you just want the latest firmware, well, just go ahead and make sure that you've selected the proper COM port for the USB uh, FTDI device that you've plugged in, and also that you uh, have the proper board selected, which is Arduino Uno. And once that's done, you can just go ahead and upload it to the board. And what you'll see here is you'll see, right after it's done compiling, you'll see the FTDI cable show some activity, some read-write read, activity, as it uploads to the board. And here it begins. You can see the LEDs flashing, read-write, read-write and it's currently up, late, updating the latest firmware to the Storm X. And this might take a little bit, but once it's done, the Storm X should boot up with the latest firmware installed. And there you have it, how to update the firmware on the Storm and Storm X controllers. Thank you.